Hello and welcome to Horizon Overland. Today we're going to check out my latest build on a 1997 Ford Expedition. You can see it right behind me. This Ford Expedition is a client's car and the client has requested a level 3 custom camper build to accommodate their camping needs. Now I have done a Ford Expedition level 3 build before. Uh, however, that was my previous version of the Level 3 on the first generation Ford Expedition. Today, we're going to check out an updated, custom-built Level 3 on a very cool Ford Expedition that has some exterior upgrades to make it a very effective Overlander. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, folks, here we go. Again, this is a first-generation 1997 Ford Expedition. 1997 is the very first year they made the Expedition model and you could see in this video this one is far from being stock or factory. I would like to highlight some of the really cool upgrades that were done by the client to make this thing uh, look really awesome and potentially function as a very effective overlander. Starting with the front we do have an aftermarket steel bumper that has a winch compartment with a worn winch uh, in the middle right there as you can see. On both sides of the winch we do have some heavy duty shackles for recovery points and on the edge of the uh, bumper on both sides we do have LED lights and fog lights. This steel bumper is made by Road Armor and I absolutely love the way it makes this expedition look. It gives it a whole new aggressive look. And also, uh, as you can see, the departure and entry angle is really, really good. So obviously this is the four wheel drive expedition and to make it even more capable, the client has lifted uh, the rig by about six inches as well as added 35 inch all-terrain uh, tires on 17 inch pro comp uh, wheels so you could see the stance the look is absolutely on point to complement the look of this expedition the exterior has been repainted to a camouflage finish it is very fitting for the sort of life this thing is going to have uh, off-road camping experiences so why not make it look the part you can see on the roof we do have a roof basket with some side led lights and right in front of the roof basket we have a 100 watt solar panel that i have installed for the client to make sure that whenever the sun is out as you can see today the 100 amp hour lithium ion battery is being uh, constantly charged and if the voltage is high the solar panel will also charge the front driving battery because we do have an isolator option connecting both batteries when the voltage is high the rear bumper is still factory it does have the tow hitch i think the tow rating on these rigs is right around 7,000 pounds it does have the rear lift gate with a separate opening for the rear glass the body is actually in really good shape i'm really digging the way this thing looks i think the upgrades are absolutely perfect uh, they're not sort of overwhelming upgrades and they seem to be uh, very effective for off-road uh, use so that's pretty much the exterior of this really cool rig let's go ahead and check out the camper build on the inside all right, we're gonna go ahead and start the tour of the camper build from the driver side. And here you could see the level three camper build capable of sleeping two people. Uh, this is completely removable should you wanna bring everything back to normal. But this is what it looks like. The client did request that the single seat of the second row seating remain intact to allow one extra person to be transported. The bench seat of the second row seating uh, has been removed and in its place we do have a electric compartment. This is part of the level three package. The electric compartment on the outside will have the solar controller that is connected to the 100 watt fixed solar panel on top of the roof. And right next to the solar controller, we have a 
DC outlet. We have one of two DC outlets. We have one on this side and we also have one on the other side. This DC outlet will have the 12 volt fridge plugged into it. This is a 40 quart fridge and this is the location of the fridge. Very convenient in front of the electric box and also this is where it would plug into. Right next to the 12 volt outlet we have a uh, battery readout. You can see the current battery voltage is 13.2 volts and we also do have two USB ports. One of them is being occupied by the LED light. We have one of two, one on each side. So let's go ahead and check out the content of the electric compartment. In here we will find our 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. Here we have our 1100 watt inverter that is gonna power the AC outlet located on the other side. We'll check that out in just one moment. We have our bus bars, all of our wires, all of our electrical connections. We have our fuse box right here and everything is conveniently located inside this electric compartment. Let me now go to the other side to show you more of the front side of this level three build. So let's go ahead and check out the front side of the build from the passenger side. This is the electric box that we just went over. On the other side of it, we have the other DC outlet and right next to it, we have the on and off inverter switch. One cool thing about this level three build is that all the hardwired outlets along with the remote control for the inverter are actually located on the battery compartment itself. And the reason why is because should you want to reinstall the second row seating to turn this into a five passenger SUV, you can remove the entire uh, battery box you'd have to unplug it and then you could remove it and you could reinstall the bench part of the second row seating let me now go ahead and fold down this seat to show you what's behind it it's very easy to fold these seats down all I have to do is pull up on this lever grab the top part of the seat lay it flat just like this and you could see right behind it we do have something the client has requested which is a safe drawer, a lockable safe uh, drawer. This metal safe drawer is a little bit out of the way behind this uh, seat. If this seat is up, you won't be able to tell that this is located back here. Obviously it's lockable, but also it's very difficult to take out the whole uh, unit. Right next to the metal safe drawer, we have our AC outlet that could be powered by the inverter. Currently it is on and we do have some usb outlets on top as well as two home plugs one of the ports is being occupied by the led light and this led light is really cool because it is adjustable you could adjust the brightness as well as cycle through different sort of ambient lights let me now go ahead and set it up as a two-person camper so you could see what it looks like so I went ahead and set up the curtains. I pulled them towards the middle. These curtains are removable. We get two of them uh, with a removable rod. Uh, this will allow you to separate the driving area, create some privacy uh, from the uh, sleeping area. The other thing that I did is I set up these mesh sleeves. These will allow you to put the windows down, let the air in, but keep the bugs out. These are also darkened for privacy. And the last item that is part of the privacy package are these custom cut Reflectix window inserts. Let me go ahead and grab this extension to create a flat surface area for the two three inch foam folding mattresses to lay on top for two people to sleep in. This uh, folding extension is very sturdy. It is made from three quarter inch plywood the plywood has been uh, sanded and routed for a very smooth finish. You can see the edges are very soft to prevent injury. And then also you could see the clearance where the fridge kind of sits below the folding extension, no problem. Now the fridge right now cannot be opened because of the folding extension overlapping the cover of the fridge, but you can push the seat further to the front and you would be able to open the fridge and access the contents of it. So this is a uh, sort of a hidden storage compartment. You won't be able to tell that this is here when the mattresses are laid out. Can only be accessed when the mattresses are all the way to the back like you see here. So I went ahead and laid out the mattresses 
Both of these are about 25 inches in width. Uh, they're about 75 inches in length, three inch foam, folding, very comfortable uh, to sleep on. And here you could see a better view of what the sides look like. On this side, we have sort of a giant storage area. This is ideal storage for maybe a sleeping bag and some pillows or blankets. On this side, we have a shelf that transforms into a counter. I'll show you in just a second what that looks like. Here you could see the LED lights are giving us plenty of lighting in here. And this is a very nice and cozy environment to hang out, to lounge in. Uh, you could remove the insulation and enjoy the view. You can even open the rear hatch. Let me now go ahead and remove this mattress to show you how this could become a counter. So you could see I am sitting on the left mattress. I have pushed the right mattress all the way to the front. This is a removable cover. Uh, and in here you could see I have a floor. This could also be used as storage, but right now it's functioning as a floor for my feet to rest. And this is the counter. This was a shelf and now it became a counter. You can see we have a lot of flat surface area. I could work on my laptop. I could have something to eat. This is very ideal to sort of hang out in here if you don't want to be outside. Let me now go outside to show you the rear part of the build. Checking out the rear part of this level three custom build. So the customer didn't want a kitchen to be built on top of the bed platform or a kitchen bowl sink to be installed or built rather inside the drawer. So this makes it very open back here. So like I said, if you're inside, you're lounging on the bed, you can open either the glass or the entire rear hatch. The build has obviously been designed to also maintain some of the functionality of the SUV itself. So this area you could see is nice and open. This could be storage. You could maybe have some lawn chairs in here. Uh, you could store some items in this little insert. We do have access to the factory uh, jack that's located behind this cover. Under this cover, I showed you earlier, this was sort of the floor, but you know, if I remove it, you get a better view of how much storage you can also use underneath the bed. Here we have a very large drawer, similar in style to all the drawers I've done in the past. It's on locking heavy duty ball bearing slides. And this drawer has a few updates done to it. This one, it does have a topper, but it is a completely removable topper. It's not built in. And then also we do have a partition that you can also remove as well to be able to store larger items in here. So this is a feature that is new on this build that I haven't done on previous builds before. So that's pretty much the level three custom camper build done for the client. So that concludes today's store on this 1997 Ford Expedition level three camper build. With the combination of the Overland exterior upgrades on this rig, as well as the level three comfortable camper on the inside, in my opinion, this rig could potentially become a very effective overlander capable of taking you to some remote places to have some of the best possible camping experiences. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.